Hey everybody, I'm going to be talking about some advanced simplification techniques that can be used to simplify this engine block and save some intellectual property before sending it out. So I'm going to start off and I want to isolate the voids down here. So I'm going to do so at the bottom and the top of the model. So I'm going to simplify some stuff on the lower region to start off with and fill in all these semicircles. And now to isolate it further and have one set of voids on the top and the bottom, I'll fill in the top holes. Now we really don't have a void yet because we see these side holes go through to each side. So I'm going to select on one, and I'm going to use power select now to be able to select on the rest at the same time. But once I grab them all, I'll fill them in. So let me rotate to make sure I got them all. Oh, looks like I missed one. So I'll grab that guy and fill him in as well. So now I should have the upper and lower voids isolated, as well as all these small blind holes. So now I'm going to grab the top and the bottom surface, and I'm going to cut them away, turning the rest of the model into surfaces. And we can see in the structure tree that all of these are identified throughout the model. So this allows me to hide our main surface, grab all the voids at once, and delete them from the screen. So I can bring back our remaining surface, and it looks like I didn't get that top void isolated. And so on closer inspection, I can see that it really wasn't a void, and there were some other surfaces attached to it. So I can now select on them and delete them away, creating two different surfaces, and I can now select on the one I don't want and delete that from the screen. So now I'm going to paste back in the surfaces I cut away earlier and just hide our main one for now. Now we need to get rid of all these openings and I can do that a couple different ways. I could do it in 3D and just fill in our edges but for speed's sake I'm just going to drop this down into a sketch. Hide the back one for now because a surface is essentially a sketch. This allows me to now select on the geometry and do a nice big box select and delete all these holes at once. Once I'm done with this sketch, I'll bring, go back into a 3D mode, and we see our surface hole. So now I'm going to do basically the same thing on our bottom one, and bring it into another sketch. And again, I can do a nice big select, and get all the regions that I want. And if I grab too many, I can just unselect all these side edges, and then delete them from the screen. And it looks like I need to grab two more holes. So I'll grab those and delete them as well. So now when I go back into another 3D mode, we see that we have a nice cleaned up surface. So I'll bring back our middle surface and now just combine the three surfaces into one using our combine tool. Once I've done that, it should be stitched together and be a solid. We see that it's still a surface and I think I know why. When I deleted those solid surfaces earlier, I never actually filled those holes back in. So I can see that the solid is basically leaking out. But when I fill those back in, we can see our surface turns back into a model, a solid model, and is ready to go. So I hope you've learned a little bit about some advanced techniques you can use in simplifying models. Thank you for watching.